Hey what's up guys this is Nishant for CG Force and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to make these peanuts 100% procedural made in blender with cycle sending engine but you guys can also use it with DB it's gonna work perfectly fine for you well originally I made these peanuts in blender 2.79b for my this beer mug scene as you can see there was quite a wide space available in the scene which I had to fill out with these peanuts and they worked pretty well they look pretty good I also have a tutorial for this beer mug which you can check out on my channel or I'll leave the link in description box so that you guys can check it out. So let's just jump in over the tutorial and start working on these peanuts. And you can see the viewport is empty which means we are going to make our penis completely from scratch so I'm going to start with a simple cylindrical mesh with 8 vertices radius 2.3 depth 2.9 and I'm also going to provide few more edges in between I think 6 will be enough yeah so make sure you activate this proportional editing because we are going to do quite a scale out and scale in to get that peanut look so I'm going to select these vertices right here and scale down on X and Y axis just like this. Just like this one. And I'm also going to do the same on the bottom here. Just like this. Probably these one too. Make sure you get that elliptical and encapsulated look for our peanut. Just like this one. Now I'm going to change this face mount and uh, merge it in the center to get that middle vertices i'm also going to do the same over here but make sure you deactivate this one first but we need to provide that crease on the neck of this peanut as we see in real life so i'm going to grab this down a little bit inset it extrude it out a little bit scale it down entirely so merge it once and uh, merge it in the center to get that vertex in the center and I'm going to select this vertex mode, select this one and grab it out a little bit to get that pointy tp head of that peanut, just like this one. Now I'm gonna extend my selection right up to here and I'm gonna scale it down on x and y axis just like this one. Activate this one again, I'm gonna select all, scale it down entirely just like this one. Probably these are too much. I think I'm gonna select this one, scale it down just like this one and yeah looking pretty good i'm also going to drag, drag it out on our x-axis just a little bit just like this to provide that natural random look of a peanut and i'm also going to smooth it out a little bit just like shade smooth i'm also going to provide a subdiv modifier at level one i think that will be five for peanut look yeah now we have more or less realistic looking peanut just like a real life uh, i think size is too much so i'm gonna grab it down a little bit now we need to make two more peanuts just like this full size peanuts so i'm gonna copy this one right up to here going to make some topological changes from edges like this one i'm gonna grab it out a little bit just like this and i'm gonna select this one grab it out on the x-axis just like this one so that it doesn't look quite identical to each other like there is change in shape and size so i'm gonna scale it down on x and y axis just a little bit probably on the z-axis too just like this one now I'm gonna copy this one another time and similarly with the second one I'm gonna grab this edge a little bit on the uh, other direction just like this probably scale it out on the x and y axis more have radius less have depth just like this I'm gonna select this one grab it down a little bit just like this completely random look and now we have three different looking full size peanuts so similarly like these peanuts, I'm going to make three more half size peanuts. Uh, so I'm going to grab this one and copy. Select this one. I'm going to select the vertices from this side completely. Carefully select your peanuts vertices uh, just like this one and this one. Also need this one right up to here. And now I'm going to delete this. Oops. just like that now we have that half peanut but 
we need to close this mesh so i'm gonna select this outer edge completely and i'm gonna apply a grid fill just like this and as you can see we already have this mesh on our edge but uh, we need to refine the topology a little bit so that we can get our topology a little bit more like a uh, crisscross uh, more soft more better so make sure you check this simple blending so that we can get that clean topological look and i'm gonna tweak around with off center a little bit just like this and i think this one looking pretty nice so i'm gonna keep it to that one and uh, now i'm going to make a few changes on the topology i'm gonna pinch it down a little bit on x-axis just like that so that we can get totally different penis and just like this one, I'm gonna scale it down on Z axis a little bit, probably scale it out on our X axis to provide more radius. And similarly, select those previous fit faces. Make sure you check the face selection, select this one, grab it out on a what's going on. Yeah, this one just like this one and i'm also going to select this outer edge and probably grab it around on the x-axis just like this one so that they completely look different from each other and then once more copy this one scale it down on z-axis probably on x-axis too to make it more like a slim peanut slim half peanut so i'm gonna select this outer edge a little bit grab it out on the x-axis just a little bit so going to change its direction of the tip like this one i'm going to select these one and uh, pinch them in just a little bit just like this and now you can see we have three different half peanuts with more or less same topology but different shape and size which you can which we can now use to get that random natural organic peanuts look in our ball so speaking of ball so let's just quickly work on our ball and model it down so i'm going to start with a simple mesh circle like this one and quite big uh vertices to 12 radius to like six centimeter yeah gonna work perfectly great so i'm gonna edit mode make sure you deactivate this proportion editing also change to vertex mode now i'm gonna extrude it and scale it down right up to here and fill it just like this now i'm going to select this outer edge go to the front mode extrude it up right up to here and scale it out on x and y axis right up to here also provide a uh, inner edge right up to this outer edge to maintain the topological flow same with this one and let me just smooth it out a little bit smooth now i'm going to apply a solidify modifier to provide the thickness to have a ball glass ball right up to 0.5 centimeter just like that i'm also going to provide a subdue modifier up to level 2 just like this one you can also choose it to 3 if you want to but it's good to, for me on this subdue level so now we have our peanuts as well as ball let me just quickly readjust them <coughs> just like this now we need to set the origin center so select everything and uh, make sure you go to this individual origins and first i'm going to apply the lock rod scale on everything just like this and set origin to geometry now everyone has their own origin on their geometry so that's back to median point now let's quickly add the texture for this ball so i'm going to apply a simple glass texture ball i'm going to use a simple principal shader for a glass texture for this ball so i'm going to crank down this roughness to zero i'm going to crank up this transmission to one just like that and now we have a glass texture for a ball yeah good so now let's quickly add our penis texture too so i'm going to add a peanuts let me quickly open up the shader editor just like this one and uh, i'm going to add a simple mix rgb node this i'm gonna set this to multiply where is yeah well i have two different colors to get my that peanut color peanut texture which i already have written in my text editor let me quickly open it text editor you can see peanuts color yeah these two colors so let me quickly copy these hex code in my colors just like this one and this one 
now you can see i have two different colors which i'm gonna blend in together to get that natural penis look let me shut down this window now i want these two colors to blend in together more like a noisy and a distorted way so i'm gonna add a simple noise texture for that i'm gonna connect this factor value to this factor value of uh, mix rgb i'm gonna keep the scale to five details to five distortion to one and now i'm gonna connect this mix rgb to my base color well i'm gonna keep the roughness to 0.5 because i have seen penis quite closely and the roughness is almost same on all over the body of a peanut so i'm gonna keep the roughness to 0.5 to that uh, same glossiness around the body but this time i'm going to tweak around the specularity a little bit so i'm gonna add a simple color ramp with specularity to control this speculation over our peanut body i'm also going to add a rgb to beat black and white to connect this and i want this specularity to more like a distorted all around the body of peanut so to do that again i'm going to copy this noise texture i'm going to connect this to color i'm going to change the scale to one details to 10 distortion to five yeah so i'm also going to change this color and value to 0.36 this is exactly what worked on my peanuts which i made previously so yeah but we also need to add a bumps so that we can get that scoopy bumpy surface more speculated rather than other body of uh, peanut so we need to add a bump node simply bumps connect it to normal uh, connect this rgb value to height by the way guys make sure you keep this bump value quite minimal otherwise bumps gonna look like more like a crisscross mess on peanuts so make sure you crank down this value to 1.1 and distance to also 0.1 and yeah and we have this texture for our procedural peanuts but one thing we need to set in the last is this subsurface value i'm all going to set this value to like 0 0.001 make sure you set this subsurface value quite minimal because anything alive is a subsurface but if you crank this value too much then your peanuts gonna look like more like a waxy or buttery peanuts which we definitely we don't want that because peanuts are quite hard from surface and we need to feel that to feel them as a peanuts so make sure you have this value quite minimal i'm also going to change these rgb values for subsurface which is going to be 1.9.7 this one let's copy this value it's gonna work perfectly for you and now we have our texture ready for procedural peanuts so now moving on to the next part so let me quickly close this window and uh, now i'm gonna select this ball so and uh, i'm going to rigid, uh, physics panel over here and i'm gonna select this rigid body physics i'm gonna set this type to passive which means this object is going to be part of our physical simulation but as a static object so i'm also going to change this convex cell to mesh because we want our ball to like as it is as a mesh so i'm also going to change this friction value to 0.2 bounciness to 0.2 we're also going to set this margin for a ball which i'm going to set as one centimeter so that we want our penis to completely reside on light about one centimeter above the surface so i'm going to keep it to one centimeter so now as similarly i'm going to select this peanut and add this rigid body i'm going to keep the type to active which means this object is going to be part of our simulation as a moving object which is definitely peanuts are going to drop down into into this ball so i'm gonna keep this shape to convex cell rather than mesh because the reason is when we use mesh for any active object the blender is kind of unstable to handle all those calculations because it makes a triangulated form around that body which is kind of unstable to be calculated by the blender system so i'm gonna use this convex cell which we're gonna make an imaginary body around these peanuts and uh, which i'm gonna calculate all the interactions between these peanuts with each other as well as this ball quite easily so i'm gonna change this friction value to 0.2 bounciness to 0.3 i want peanuts more like bounce bounce in each other so that they can settle more better and i'm also going to override this co collision margin which is already default set by this convex cell four centimeter i'm gonna override this value to like 0 0.0.2 centimeter I want this distance quite minimal so that we can see peanuts like uh, interacting with each, with, each other, with each other with quite a distance in itself. So try to maintain that distance quite minimal as possible. So yeah, these settings are enough. By the way, make sure uh, you have unchecked this animated option because we don't want our active objects to be 
animated so let's just copy these physical attributes to our other peanuts too so i'm going to select all other peanuts make sure you have selected your active object as this peanut which you have set these physical properties and go to object go to rigid body and go to copy from active now these peanuts have copied the same physical properties from this peanut so now you can see we also have mass option for our active object as a peanut but it's one kilogram which is quite too high for this small peanut so we need to set mass for our peanuts too so to make that go to object go to rigid body and calculate mass now you can see that we have a quite large list for objects we want to set our mass so we have peanuts not shell check this one and now we have our different peanuts different mass as you can see like this one this one and this one so now we will have quite variation in mass for our different peanuts so let me copy these peanuts few more times to see how our simulation exactly gonna look like so i'm gonna make instances of these peanuts few more times like here and there just like here and there i think this should be enough so let's just quickly start our simulation see how it's gonna work so you can see peanuts are residing on this ball right here but you can also see we have plenty of peanuts we just passed through this ball which is not exactly what we want so why is this happening well there are actually two reasons behind this problem first one is the scale scale of these peanuts well blender has a, some sort of issue when it comes to calculate the in physical interactions between small scale objects and uh, they kind of mess around here and there and pass through the uh, static objects which is definitely not what we want so we need to crack up the scale of these peanuts just a little bit so i'm going to select all the peanuts and individual origins and scale up just a little bit right up to here gonna work perfectly so back to median and now let's just check our simulation you can see we have still have peanuts on the ball but plenty others still passing through so here is the next problem which comes quite times and maybe plenty of you artists may have this problem before and uh, plenty of you may already figured it out but if you didn't then keep watching well the another problem is the force force exerted by these peanuts on this ball on the margin of this ball which we have already set here which is one centimeter which means when these when we drop these peanuts on this ball they exert pressure or force quite intensely on this ball and this margin and this margin is quite vulnerable and small in front of that force so that it can withstand that force and due to that fact peanuts just pass right through this ball conclusively our entire physics just went to hell right through this ball without any hole so we need to make that better so how to make those interactions more better well let me explain you guys something very quickly well when we drop these peanuts from some distance in this ball they are already under some sort of influence some sort of intensity or force just like a real life uh, well that is why they fall down in the first place so what is that force well that's our gravity gravitational force set in this blender system so if we want these peanuts to reside on this ball without any trouble or any issues without passing through down so we need to crank down our gravitational force just a little bit so that we, they, uh, these peanuts can reside with more little bit ease and uh, without any issues so how to mess around that with that gravity is there any panel for our gravity let me check well no nope. collections not gravity let me check with these peanuts nope. we have mass but not gravitational value dynamics well i already checked with dynamics it just reduce the speed uh, speed for your peanuts but they also just start to make clumps of these peanuts when they fall down together 
so this is not exactly what we want so where is gravity well go to this scene context properties here and you will see there is a gravity panel right below the units panel make sure it's checked and uh, now you can see there are three axes x y and z and you can see there is negative 9.8 meter per second square value on z axis which is our earth's gravity so we need to crank down this value to negative one and now let's just check our simulation a little bit and now you can see no pinus just passing down from this ball and all pinus are simply start to reside on this surface of this ball but you can see there are still some clumping going around which we need to rid of so i'm going to change the margin between these peanuts uh, so let me select this peanut which is already selected here so let me go to the properties and let me increase this margin a little bit like, like a 0.5 centimeter thing let me just check it so i'm gonna uh, select all the peanuts again just like here and i'm gonna copy these properties to that one copy from active also gonna recalculate the mass when it body calculate mass peanuts no shell and now let's just quickly see and now you can see our peanuts are start blending in together with with more variety with more distance and space between each other if you are just <laughs> messing around into each other but we will fix it later so let me crank up the distance a little bit more so i'm going to change this margin to like 0.1 centimeter because our scale of peanuts is also changed so now i'm going to copy these properties to all other peanuts just like previous one copy from active also going to recalculate it calculate the mass peanuts no shell so now let's just quickly check our simulation and how it looks and now you can see our peanuts have start residing and blending together more better than the previous one cases so i want this ball to fill up like half so what i'm gonna do is copy these peanuts a few more times so that we have quite a number of peanuts available to fill up the ball completely so i'm gonna copy this one i'm gonna copy these half peanuts a few more times so that we can get that 50 50 percent adequate ratio of half and full size peanuts so i'm gonna copy these one a few more times right here just like this one so but i think that's still not enough so i'm gonna copy a few more times just like this one and now you can see scene is quite dense once more and now i'm going to bake my scene because i can just sim uh, play it in a real time the calculations are quite intense so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to bake my simulation right in rigid body world you can see i'm gonna bake right up to like 150 frame that should be enough and i will start my baking so i'll be back right after baking and see how our simulation gonna look like and as you can see we have baked our simulation and uh, right up to here 150 frame and let's just quickly see how it's gonna look so and now you can see <laughs> we have a penis completely residing on this ball without any clumps or any peanut phasing through this ball which is quite nice a little bit out but gonna set if we frame down a little bit more so you can see penis residing pretty good on each other you can also increase this margin a little bit more to where is that to get more uh, distance between these peanuts as well as ball that's gonna be your more positive point because they're gonna uh, interact more better with each other so that's completely up to you that's completely experimental if you wanted more with the distance go ahead change the margin keep it more like 0 0.2 or 0.25 gonna work pretty nice so now we have our peanuts in ball so if you want to save your animation just like that simulation just like that as it is then you simply just save the file save the project and shut down the blender and whenever you're gonna open this project again you will always find your simulation cached right here in this uh, rigid body physics panel as baked right as it is so you can simply now keep this file as it is or uh, 
you can see there are few penis are bouncing back from it just like this one well so the next thing is but if you want to transform your entire some entire animation entire simulation onto any single frame like suppose this one i i mean i like this frame and i want to make my entire animation to simulate somewhere like this one like i don't want my entire animation but this frame as it is as my static blender scene so what you need to do is select that frame whatever you want to sum up your entire transformation and select all objects peanuts and this ball everything then simply go to object go to rigid body and apply transformation and now your this scene will be transformed to this but before that make sure you delete all bakes which you have already for your simulation delete bakes and now you can see the color of your timeline has been changed from dark orange to yellowish which means this timeline has no more baked animation of these peanuts and ball or your scene so now you can simply dial back to your timeline to zero and you can see there is no animation happening over here because your entire animation now has been summed up to this one this single static frame so now you can simply uh, save this scene as it is and uh, now you can use it in any interior scene dining scene or any product design scene <clears throat> in which whichever you want so but you still can make any changes in your scene like you can delete anything like that just like that because we still have those physical attributes applied on these objects on ball on peanuts so first we need to remove these physical attributes then we can make any changes or delete any object if we want like we had one peanut which bounced back just like this three peanuts bounced from this ball which we need to delete but if we want to delete first we need to remove these physical attributes so first i'm going to select everything like before let me quickly go to that here now i'm going to select everything else go to object go to digit body and select this remove and now you can see our physical attributes has been removed we completely get rid of and uh, now you can simply select those peanuts these one Mm, this one right so i'm gonna select this one and delete now simply they has been deleted and now we are back to our ball so now let's just quickly add a lighting to our scene and see how our penis gonna look like so first i'm gonna add a floor for this one just like this yeah already in the bottom just like this now i'm going to provide a texture floor i want dark background for my peanuts so i'm gonna crank it down to more like black crank down the roughness to zero and that's it we have our background so let me quickly add an hdri for our scene environment texture i'm going to use this 4k resolution hdr i'm going to use simple kiara interior for my scene so let me quickly add a camera just like that let me just pass it out a little bit capacity yeah good so now we have our camera and now let me quickly render this my scene and see how it's gonna look like so i have 333 samples for my rendering so i'm gonna simply just start my render and i'll be back with my rendering results and we have our render and you can see peanuts are residing pretty nicely in this ball texture is also looking pretty nice as you can see uh, there are some dark uh, spots inside this white peanut which was our those two colors we used in our base color node with noise texture and noise texture help us to blend them pretty nicely and roughness is also looking pretty fair pretty nice uh, yeah i can see much of the specularity and reflection but i can see a little bit subtle uh, speculation around the edges of these penis just like here there and there bumps are also looking pretty nice pretty subtle bumps 
helps us to feel that that realism in peanuts in the end the real thing worked pretty nicely which was our subsurface scattering as you guys can see peanuts are looking quite hard and stiff as they should be but more uh, but our subsurface value was quite nice quite subtle quite minimal which gives them more like a hard look hard surface stiff surface look but not like a waxy or buttery look as they shouldn't be pretty nice results and yeah that's good so that's it for the tutorial guys i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and if you guys did please leave us a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends uh, have any questions any doubts related to this tutorial feel free to leave in the comment box i'll try to answer them as much as i can so thanks for watching and see you guys next time